going on everybody? Jackson here. It is July 4th and that means one thing. That means us fat Americans are going to eat as much as we possibly can. We don't like it, but it's true. America is known to be a little bit fat. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you guys have some standard American calorie saving swaps. And I wanted to make this video because you guys know I'm all about being practical here. And yes, we're gonna indulge on 4th of July. Yes, we're gonna want burgers and hot dogs in the US. That's okay, all right? But that doesn't mean that we have to waste stupid calories on something that we're not gonna notice the difference of. All right, so all of the stuff that I'm gonna show you today is going to be swaps that are gonna save you hundreds of calories and you won't even know the difference for a lot of them. So massive value in this video. Be sure to stick around until the end. You're gonna learn something. You're gonna write some of these things down and these might become some staples in your own personal diet at home. I can tell you they have for me. So first things first, we are going kayaking this morning. Technically, I'm going paddle boarding, but like everybody else is kayaking. We're gonna be going out on the water. It's gonna be super fun. I'm gonna bring you guys with me and then we're gonna get started with meal number one right after the dangerously good sesh. And damn it, I love this country. It's a beautiful morning. There's this like really cool place back there and we're going paddle boarding on the bay here in Ocean City. So got to get our activity in to christen up this new Apple Watch, you know what I'm saying? Can you go, please? Thank you. Oh, if I stood straight up, I'd hit it. <laughs> so it's only fitting. There's a bald eagle up there in that tree and they've been flying around. Apparently it's mating, it's like they're having their babies now or something. Damn it, I love them bald eagles. You knocked me off of this. Here, we're gonna be throwing paws hard. Ah, no! Little dick. Just wanna let you guys know, just locked the keys in my car. My car is running, parents left, can't get a hold of them. It's gonna be really interesting to see how, uh, how we figure this one out. The car, the keys are in. The car's running, but I'm not in there. Don't know how I managed to do that one. All I know is I gotta get comfortable. All right, guys, we're starting off with the most important meal of the day, serving it up Jackson's way. And did you actually know that breakfast just means like break fast? It's like you're breaking your fast. So we're starting off with breakfast and a staple here in the States is eggs, bacon, and pancakes. If you go to IHOP, if I'm going to IHOP, if I'm going to McDonald's to get breakfast right, pancake, eggs, and bacon is a solid move and I think we can all agree on that. I think if you disagree with me, you're gonna have to put your paws up because I don't know what you're thinking. So I'm gonna show you for meal number one how to switch some choices around to get more protein and less calories as a whole. Let's get started. Breakfast is done. We've got three pancakes, we've got two pieces of turkey, bacon, and we've got 
our eggs right here, the American staple. So guys, normally three eggs, three pancakes, and two pieces of bacon, and a serving of Aunt Jemima syrup comes out to 800 and 54 calories, okay? That's insane. Now you have the same thing. We've got this meal here that's still gonna be delicious, and you've got 310 calories. That's literally like less than half, okay? the damn chair. All right guys, it's time for meal number two, which is gonna be lunch, and nothing is more American than a couple of wieners, or more specifically, hot dogs. So I'm gonna go fire up the grill, we're gonna cook up some hot dogs, and we're gonna save you some calories, my friends. Oh, and I'm also gonna show you a fantastic swap for normal potato chips, because we know those are American, and we eat way too many of them. All right guys, hot dogs are finished, and this is a perfect example of something that's like, this is a hot dog, okay, these are hot dogs. The difference in calories is pretty massive and the difference in taste is literally like non-existent. So this is a perfect example of like, if you're gonna buy hot dogs, why not just buy the ones with, with, with less calories and similar protein? It doesn't make sense to me, but that's why you're watching this video. Typical, standard, calorie conscious, American lunch. By the way guys, these buns are called 647 buns and they are literally a no-brainer. They're 80 calories a bun, okay? Significantly less than a normal bun and they taste the exact same. You can't tell the difference. So it's like, why would you get the other ones when you're not gonna tell the difference and you're just gonna save calories? It's literally only a net positive experience. So I don't know which way you swing, but whether you're pitching, whether you're catching, we're gonna go ahead and put this wiener in a bun. All right, look, this next part's gonna be controversial and I'm willing to accept the hatred. I don't even know why. I don't know why people throw hate for it, but they do. Oh, dang it. Missed the money shot. That, my friends, is a calorie conscious hot dog if I've ever seen it. So with the ketchup, I was told by my friends in college that from like the World Hot Dog Organization or something like that, it's like immoral to put ketchup on a hot dog. I don't know why, I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm just here to say, I thought this was America, so I thought I could eat a hot dog however I want. I could be wrong. So the chips that are often served with hot dogs are usually like original Lay's potato chips, at least here in America. Anytime I've ever gotten a hot dog, it came with original Lay's potato chips. Those potato chips are stupid high in calories and they're very high in fat and it's just like, I, I want nothing to do with them. And I don't even like them. I was raised on baked Lay's, which are way better by the way, but no. We're going even farther. Recently found gem of mine. Those of you who've been on my channel long enough, you know that I love Quest, the company Quest, okay? So we've got some Quest potato chips, okay? There's like, there's 18 grams of protein in these Quest nacho cheese potato chips. These are technically tortilla chips, but I think that we get the same picture. So this meal, we're looking at 523 calories. That's pretty freaking good compared to what a normal meal would be, which is right here. Like, are you kidding me? So if you don't mind, I got a date with a mixture of a little wiener and a little bit of nacho cheese. <laughs> All right guys, we made it to the last meal of a standard American diet. We're saving calories, we're getting useful info to be able to use for other little recipes or sandwiches or whatever the heck you wanna do. And the last meal is gonna be the most American meal of all time, which is a burger and fries, baby. We're even gonna top it off with a little bit of like a healthy calorie saving dessert. You are gonna tell the difference on that one though. But the burger and fries, you probably wouldn't. So first things first for our burger, we've got the buns, which are gonna be 647 buns. Guys, if you notice, I use a lot of 647 stuff. These buns are 80 calories, that, that they are half 
the calories of normal buns and you don't even tell the difference. I cannot recommend you enough 647 products. Moving on to the burger itself, we have got the Butterball 93% Lean Turkey Burgers. These things are much lower in calorie than the normal turkey burgers, and as long as you season them right, they can actually be really good. And as for the french fries, we're going all natural, baby. All we're doing is cutting them up, seasoning them up, and we're gonna air fry them tonight. We, I'm very optimistic. Call it a Krabby Patty, call it a Big Mac, call it a Whopper, whatever you want. We're gonna send this standard burger and fry American delicacy. Let's get it. Guys, we've officially made the burgers. I'm, I made one for my girlfriend Chloe and for me. And we made our homemade fries. These actually look like they turned out really well. The air fryer actually kind of worked in our favor today. So guys, I want you to understand something, okay? A normal burger and fries, okay? So normal American cheese, ketchup, mustard, pickles, burger, burger bun, okay? Like a Bubba Bur two Bubba burgers, first of all, are 840 calories just for two of the burgers. So this meal right here with turkey burgers versus the, the, the high fatty, high calorie Bubba burgers is half the calories, okay? For literally like the same exact meal. So you can still enjoy the American staple burger and fries and save a ton of calories by picking the right stuff and listening to your boy over here, okay? Oh my God, no Lessons. way. <laughs> Guys, air fried, air fried potatoes. <laughs> this is really good, it's like a bread fry. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm glad you were so happy about it. <laughs> But Jackson, do you eat dessert? What about dessert? It's the 4th of July, you need an American dessert. You see, I was trying to get creative about it. I would just as soon have more dinner. I was a savory fat guy, not like a sweet fat guy, you know what I'm saying? If you are going to have an American sweet. I hear our apple pie is pretty good over here and that's I think American. So I don't have apple pie for you here and I can tell you that the calories in that are probably gonna be horrendous. I'm not gonna try to DIY an apple pie for you but I will tell you, this Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt has changed my life. It's apple pie, it's, ca it's caramel apple pie flavor, and it is dank. I'm talking this thing smacks. It is so good. Add some cinnamon, some nutmeg, whatever you wanna add to this, but oh my God, it's 80 calories and 12 grams of protein, guys. Dannon, light and fit. Get them at Walmart, Food Line. I'm pretty sure they have them like literally everywhere, probably on Mars. So guys, be sure to use some of these calorie saving swaps. Happy 4th of July to all the Americans out there and anybody else who's celebrating it across the world. I just want you guys to know that you all inspire me more than you know. I'm so excited to have all of you a part of my channel. You guys are my YouTube fam. And you know that. So as always, my YouTube family, let's keep getting better together and let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.